in this series in Genesis. We're going through all these uh, Old Testament stories, all these Old Testament characters, and see how they could apply to us as a church, to us as a community, to us as individuals. And so, Becky, so glad that you are here. Yeah. To, is this your favorite Old Testament story? Is this my favorite? Yeah, or which one no, is your favorite? No, I said one of my favorites. Okay, well, it's but, hard. Questions like that are very hard for me to answer. Like when people are like, what's your favorite movie? I'm like, I'll give you my top 10. Okay. Because to pick one feels, I don't know, I feel like it changes. I, don't need I, don't, I, I, I feel so sold to that. Like I have to yeah, yeah, yeah. vow to love that as my favorite from now until but, forever. But this week, today. But Jacob's Wrestling with God is one of my favorites. I would say a, a like long standing favorite of mine has always been the story of Abigail who was uh, married to this man named uh, Nabal and then ended up being a wife of King David. And Note she's a self, smart cookie. Right. So. Look that up in a minute. Yeah, I don't Samuel. think I've, I've Second seen Samuel? It. Yeah. First Samuel. Be. One of the Samuels. Um, hey, let me ask, for, ask a very serious <laughs> a question. A very not like that for the first question. <laughs> you compared the suspense in the story of Jacob to watching an episode of Jack Ryan. Yeah. I appreciate that. <laughs> so knowing, With you know. Which from the office. <laughs> yes. If you could cast a modern actor to play Jacob in a dramatic retelling of the My story, who gosh. would it be and why? Hmm. I... <laughs> okay. This is, this is going to be from left field. We may cut this out, you guys. People may, may or may not out. know this. I'm a big, huge... <laughs> this is Fast and the Furious franchise. <laughs> fan of the Fast and the Furious franchise. And part of me, just because Vin Diesel is like this. We've lost the crew, you guys. Like We've lost the crew. <laughs> They're all walked away. Macho character. <laughs> but he's an idiot in them. And kind of even in right. real life where he's like, oh. I'm the best. And so part of me would just love to see Vin Diesel like wrestling with this God figure. I think I it'd be that. wonderful. You know what? I think it's important <laughs> that we think about that because it, it helps to put a to put a literal face to it. Like, what would the, could this person be? And for somebody who sat with this story for the last couple of weeks, that's really telling, <laughs> and it's really good. Well, thanks for coming to this therapy. You didn't know this was a therapy session you're in right now. Although I would say most of my answers when it comes to actors or movies is about the Fast and Furious franchise and Vin Diesel. So. Okay. No. There we go. <laughs> You'd be cast in most things. <laughs> hey, you mentioned how Jacob's wrestling with God uh, represents this really um, transformational struggle mm -hmm. uh, that shifts his identity. Mm -hmm. Do you have a personal experience of, of where you were? You felt like you were wrestling with God, or, hmm. and and did a transformation come to you through that struggle? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's been a regular pattern occurrence throughout my faith journey where there it's like God wanting to, you know, when I think of those things that prevent me from being a person of love is how I described it in the sermon. Like there's been seasons where what God is breaking in me is judgmentalism or what God is breaking in me is anger. Or what God is breaking in me is pride. Um, and that's painful, right? Like, and, and for me, it, it's, it's usually not just I don't know, maybe I'm not, uh, <laughs> I don't quite get it in just one struggle. And so it's usually this repetitive process where God is once again, in a gracious way, bringing me back to, hey, this can't, this can't stay. It's, it's in conflict with, with who I am and who I'm transforming you to be. And so let's, let's address it. Let's deal with it. And did it, does, it, does it truly feel like wrestling with or? Yeah, I mean, it, I, think it, I think it depends, but oftentimes it's painful because my, my Paul uses the, describes it as our our old self or our or our old man. Yes. That there's this this literal thing that is a part of our identity, right? That has to die in order to live in the way of Jesus. And so there, it, in in some sense, it does feel like a like a breaking or a death or a wrestling, a struggle hmm. to say. I'm not going to have that be a part of my identity anymore, and I'm going to choose the way of Jesus. Hmm. Um, I don't, maybe there's people who, uh, handle that a lot more easily than I do, but it's often a struggle because I feel like, you know, my independence or my mm -hmm, hard work mm -hmm. or whatever my, is such a part of who I am. But when it's keeping me from being loving, right, then God's saying, okay, that's what we've got to work on now. Yeah. Thanks for, for sharing that, for being vulnerable about, about that. Yeah. Um, James, the brother of Jesus, mm -hmm. talks about, he says, you know, hey, listen, sisters and brothers, consider it pure joy mm -hmm. when you face trials of many kinds. Mm -hmm. uh, in what way is wrestling 
like a trial and in what ways it is it a little bit different? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think I think it it's that word trial or wrestling can be used to describe many different things, right? So that's where sometimes putting a definition to mm -hmm. a word, here's what I mean by that is helpful. Um, and I kind of did that in this. I'm not just talking about like when we doubt, you know, theological things and we feel like, oh, I'm, I'm talking about this God actually saying this thing in your life can no longer be there. Let's wrestle it out. And, um, and so when I think of trial, uh, wrestling can absolutely be a trial. But I think what I naturally think of when it comes to trial is like, uh, is something that is that I'm undergoing that's out of my control fully, that's maybe a result of someone else's poor decision, someone else being mm -hmm. unloving mm -hmm. to me, or just the way our world works, mm -hmm. and not necessarily a trial because of my poor choices, or a trial that God, in a sense, is 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 bringing to light. Um, and uh, and so, yeah. I don't think I answered the no, question. No, you did. You did. But you, I, I, I like that you just ended with, like, I guess it's different, but there are times when it could be similar. This, yeah. Uh, wrestling could feel like a trial and vice versa. So Yeah. I mean, I don't think Jacob's in this all-night wrestling match and thinking, this is easy. Mm -mm. I don't think he's thinking, this mm -mm. is a, a, a cakewalk. Like, I think it was a challenge. I think there was lots yeah. of confusion. I think there was lots of fear and anxiety that was heightened at that time. And and those are all things he's having to work through as he's in the midst of the struggle. Well, thanks for, for helping us reframe what we can do with this this story, mm -hmm. a really old story about a wrestling with God. Wrestling is not necessarily something we are super familiar with. Mm -hmm. And so, and wrestling is sim not something we simply do to experience life, but it's part of our identity. I like how you said mm -hmm. that. Um, we are wrestlers, right? You're a wrestler, I'm a wrestler. And those who struggle through darkness or through exhaustion, uh, through pain, and perhaps like Jacob, hold on for dear life and in the end prevail. In the same way that something shifted for Jacob in his wrestling match with God, may we also, in, maybe in community, mature in a way that can only come from struggle. I think I'm ready for that. What about you? Let's talk about that this week. I hope to see you there.